What is the fun fact today we're talking about? The new Daryl, the Daryl Dixon finale. So, yeah. This wasn't a bad episode. It was an, ep it was an epic finale. Just, there's some points in it that are like, what? <laughs> so, first off, it obviously starts off with the entire fight. Which... Honestly, I didn't know what I was expecting because it wasn't like a bloater type zombie, but it lasted quite, it, it lasted very small. It didn't last very long. Um, it was only like a couple of minutes, um, it, even including the whole double fight and everything it was just it was kind of underwhelming in my opinion um, we're going to be talking about the big points I, do, I should mention that I'm mainly going to be talking about the main points and just stuff I, I pointed out in the show but anyway um so about the nest the nest itself is i was expecting like them to like experiment on laurent to see if he's actually the cure because that was a that was a massive talk on like whether or not laurent is the cure or at least i thought that's what they were leading to and like daryl doesn't want Laurent to die so it's like you know I was excited to be a lot like The Last of Us surprisingly wasn't um but yeah uh so the nest is just like another home like a permanent home um and apparently they stole my idea about having a place to live in the middle of nowhere because if you're in the middle of nowhere you can see any enemy threat from like miles and you can't really get like snuck up upon so yeah <laughs> but anyway um also uh the whole guy betraying his team I forgot the guy's name but like he was about to shoot Daryl and shoot the kid, but for some reason he turned against his team. They tried to explain it like he didn't want to kill Laurent, but like he didn't care about Laurent before. Why would he care now? So it just it just came out of nowhere <laughs> that he did that. But it's whatever. Um then there's that ending scene. The most random ending scene. It was just like, what? <laughs> like, there's no conclusion. We don't know. Daddy, that ending scene with, like, Laurent and stuff like that. In my opinion, it was a little bit like, what? <laughs> so is Laurent going with Daryl? Is he not? Was the boat just all a big lie? Was the boat even the thing that I was supposed to bring Daryl like what what is going on like I think it was just all like we didn't need to see the grave I guess maybe it was like a character development thing to see Daryl cry again which like we didn't need to see him cry again but, like, maybe it's also a thing where it's, like, it's fi it's closure for Daryl. Like, he, like, Daryl's one of the characters that never gets closure on anything. Other than, like, his brother dying, which, like, yeah. Like, we, like, he doesn't even know if Rick is still alive. He doesn't know if Michonne is still alive. Like, he doesn't know what happened to his group. He has no closure on anything. 
So it's like, I, I assume this was what he needed. I was originally going to think that if they didn't show his grave, that, like, that would mean that Daryl's grandfather and father are still alive somehow. And, like, Daryl would have to go on a new mission and that sparks off season two, but no. Then there was a massive horde of walkers and stuff. And then that's when I started thinking, like, oh, he's going to have to kill his grandpa that is a zombie, but nope. <laughs> Just a bunch of random zombies for no reason, really. Just for, like, a final scare, I guess, but who knows. Uh, but then Daryl looks off into the distance, seeing that, hey, there's a boat, and then LeBron calls out for Daryl. Daryl looking... I, I could not tell his emotion. He was, like, happy, then, like, angry. And it's like, I don't understand that ending scene. And then it just zooms out, and I was just like, what? <laughs> This is a very confusing episode, like, it was a bunch of, like, me going, like, okay, what the hell? Just out of, like, all this stuff out of nowhere. But we did get a Carol scene about how Carol's gonna be getting to Daryl, which I, I really like this. I'm happy that Carol and Daryl are basically getting their own spinoff. Like, I know that... I completely forgot, honestly, that Daryl and Carol were supposed to have their own spinoff show. Like, I honestly forgot about that because the promotion was all about, like, oh, it's Daryl's show. This is Daryl's scene. And I completely forgot that the, like, the very first um, thing we found about, we found out about this thing about the universe was that it's supposed to be a Carol and Daryl show. So it's like, yeah, I, I probably, yeah. Am I surprised that Carol is returning? No. Because, honestly, it's just like, it's bound to happen. They're like two peas in a pod. Now, Here's something I want to talk about, and that's Daryl and Carol's relationship. Are they romantic? I don't think so. There's a ton of buildup to Daryl and Lauren's, or no, her name's Elizabeth. There's a lot of buildup to Elizabeth and Daryl's relationship in the future season. I kind of forgot that there's a season two planned and that maybe Elizabeth does return for se for season two. I thought that this was just her character being written off, but then I gotta remember there's a season two. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just like a lot of confusing parts, but overall episode was pretty solid. It was a good end to everything. I was just expecting a lot more out of the zombies and also uh, weird character developments that just came out of left field randomly. But still, pretty good episode. I'd give it. I know I didn't really rank any other episode. Let's rank the entire season as a whole. 8.3 5 out of 10, in my opinion. There were some hiccups that, like, were like, eh. But overall, the show was pretty decent and is a passing grade. I don't know if I'm going to do this for every single show, because that would be a lot, and I forget. I forget a lot of the time about planned stuff, so... Hey, it's whatever. But yeah... It was very fun reviewing the show. Six weeks. It gave me six weeks of content. And honestly, I'm going to be reviewing the dead ones. Also, expect like next week for me to review the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Because I'm going to be seeing it one day early. Which is crazy. 
Because normally I don't get an opportunity like this, but for some reason, uh, for the FNAF movie, I did, which is like, it's an incredible honor. But anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.